A question I get asked all the time is, do I need to buy a sunshade for my Tesla? Well, probably not when it's raining, but when it's sunny and hot, let's find out. There's no denying that when you get in a Tesla on a hot summer's day, you can feel some radiant heat coming through that glass roof. It is very hot in the car. It's been sitting in the sun. One thing we've noticed now that the weather is getting a bit warmer in Melbourne is the radiant heat you feel from this big glass panel up the top. So this is where having a sunshade or some form of protection can come in handy. However, I'm gonna preface this all by saying I would personally only consider getting some sort of sunshade or protection if you have a dog or you have kids or you're living in a really hot climate because there is something special about the fact that Tesla's just come with this giant glass roof. It's beautiful to look at and it's not really an issue. We had the Model 3 for over a year and never even thought about putting any protection on the roof. It was just something you kind of get used to. Once you put the AC on on a hot day, it's going to sort you out pretty quickly. And it's obviously heavily UV protected, so there's no concerns there. I don't think that Tesla need to change the way that they're designing their cars. Like, sure, it would be nice if there was a hidden shade that you could, you know, automatically retract. But does it need it? I don't think so. I think it's pretty cool the way they come. So I'm currently sitting in my car and it's raining. This is the perfect example of when you wouldn't need a sunshade. And in this case, when you would have the sunshade open. Now this is from a brand called Otraford and this is called the full shade. And essentially you install it in the car and you can open and close it relatively easily. It blends in pretty well with the interior of the car. It seems to be the best shade that you can get on the market when it comes to a Model 3 or a Model Y. It can really help to keep the temperature down in the car when it is a hot day. So the good thing is you can just be driving and then all of a sudden you decide you want to open up the shade and it's as easy as that. It is a blockout blind as well, which is great because some of the ones you can buy from Tesla are more of like a mesh and they do still let some light and some heat through. So this shade becomes especially useful if we do leave Cooper in the car with dog mode on. It just helps to keep the temperature down in the cabin. Now I did buy a mesh clip-in style of shade for the rear window. This one's just from Xcar. And I believe this is just how the Tesla ones work that they sell on their website where it fits pretty snug and then you use the clips to secure it. So even though this does help Cooper stay cool in the back of the car, the downside is it still does let a little bit of light and heat through and even worse is that you cannot see anything out of the rear window. It completely blocks any visibility. It's also a bit of a pain when you want to put it up or take it down. It just takes a little bit of time. It's also a little bit awkward to store. And I imagine this is the same for the roof shade that you can buy from Tesla. Having something that is fixed to the roof and slidable just kind of fixes that problem. All right, so what are the downsides to having the full shade in the car? Well, they've done a great job of matching the interior trim, but it still doesn't look quite as nice as just having the Tesla roof as it comes with that beautiful glass being fully exposed and nothing around the perimeter. Secondly, it does unfortunately add to the rattling you're gonna experience inside the car. Whenever you're going over bumps or you're on a rough road, you're gonna hear the shade and its fixtures sort of moving around a bit. And lastly, while I do think this is the best shade money can buy for a Tesla Model 3 or Y at the moment, it still is quite expensive and quite a bit more than the other ones on the market. Do I think it's worth it? Well, in our case, absolutely, it has been. Even if Cooper wasn't in the car with us, it's still a very nice to have kind of thing on a hot day. I'll leave a link below as well as my discount code if you do want to get one for your own Model Y or Model 3. But as I said, it's not needed for everybody. I would encourage you to just try the roof as it comes and see if you find this to be an issue. If you've got kids or dogs that travel in the car with you, I think you'll find this is a helpful addition to the car. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you soon in another video.